Lactose intolerance means that while for some people a giant ice cream cone looks like a delicious dessert, for others it looks like an upset stomach. So why can some people digest milk while others can't? Let's start with the lactose itself. Lactose is a sugar found in milk and it's digested by an enzyme named lactase. Okay guys, here's a handy hint. Scientists have brief moments of naming brilliance. You have a gene called sonic hedgehog, which is involved in neural patterning, and fly biologists name genes everything from ether a go-go to glass bottom boat. But those biochemists, man. When it comes to naming things like enzymes, it's usually just thing that's being digested ace. So if you're digesting lactose, the enzyme that does it is lactase. Way to be creative, guys. So in animals, the time when a body most needs to digest milk is when it's young. Baby cows get their nutrition from cow milk, and baby goats drink goat milk, and baby humans drink breast milk. And I know it's weird to think about it that way, but it's really the same thing. So once an animal is weaned from its mother, it no longer has a need to digest milk and often loses its ability to create lactase. However, humans are pretty unique. We do this thing called farming. Okay, we're not totally unique, so leafcutter ants use the leaves that they cut to cultivate a farm of fungus which they use to feed to their larva. But as far as I know, we're the only animals that farm cattle. Because of this, we've grown to enjoy dairy products, from milk to cheese to ice cream. Historically, cattle farming was most popular in places like Europe, which had moderate climates, which provided cattle stocks with year-round food. So, populations that grew to rely on dairy products for protein and nutrients began to favor individuals who retained their ability to produce lactase and digest lactose into their adult lives. This ability came from mutations in their genome. Beneficial mutations. These individuals who could eat dairy would grow stronger and be more likely to make it to adulthood and pass on their genes. So this means that the farming and eating habits of these locations actually evolved their populations over time, which is awesome and a great example of human evolution in action. It also means that your geographic origins and ancestry can have an impact on whether or not you are lactose intolerant. Dairy-dependent populations in Europe produced many lactose-tolerant individuals, while many Asian and African populations that did not historically rely on dairy as a main protein source have high incidences of lactose intolerant individuals. Overall, this leaves about 60% of today's population lactose intolerant. One study found 2% lactose intolerance in dairy-loving Denmark, while they found 100% lactose intolerance in not-so-dairy-loving Zambia. They did find one super cool thing, though, is that they found all of these lactose-tolerant populations spotted throughout mainly lactose-intolerant regions in places like Africa and the Middle East. The researchers think these lactose-tolerant populations had more nomadic backgrounds, so they were able to find food for their cattle year-round, grew more dependent on dairy, and therefore favored more lactose-tolerant individuals. Super cool. Go forth. Do science.